Hi guys, I'm Jesse. And I am Kara. And we run the channel Jaunt Junkies. Our channel focuses on basically everything RV. We are a couple of full-time workers that just every weekend we get a chance, we get out and RV as much as possible. So we like to showcase different RVs, products, reviews, installation, cooking, just everything RV. I'd like to thank JD with Big Truck Big RV for reaching out and giving us the chance to showcase our channel on his channel. And now, let's just show you our home away from home. Because this is a big truck, big RV, might as well show the truck first. Our truck is a 2019 F-350 Power Stroke. It is the Silver Sage, right Kara? Yes. Yeah, Silver Sage. This truck is rated to tow the gross vehicle weight rating of 11,500. We used to have a Ram 2500 diesel that we got rid of uh, because it really it was didn't carry what we needed to. This has a payload capacity of 3,577 pounds, which gives us a whole bunch more than what we really need, which works great for our 30-foot fifth wheel. Being here in Utah, the diesel engine's almost a must-do. It's not just for the power to pull up all the hills. It's for the exhaust brakes coming down. All the new diesel trucks have great exhaust brakes and we love it on this 2019 F-350. When it comes to hitches, there's no other choice for me but the BMW Companion. We love this hitch. The truck came with the puck system, so we just bought the hitch, slap it right in, and it works great every time. One of the main problems though, with the 2017 through 19 F-350s and F-250s is how high they sit. The rear block is like a three inch block. So that gave us too much of a ride height for our fifth wheel, so we had to lower it. We swapped out the stock block for a one and a half inch block from PDF suspension. That lowered the rear end instead of raising the front end like most people do to level their truck. And it gave us the ride height we needed for our fifth wheel so we weren't hitting the rails of the truck on the on the fifth wheel. Along with that, we put on airbags. We just barely installed these. It's been pretty fun to put them in and install them and everything else. We were watching Keep Your Daydream and we saw where they put their gauge for the airbags and thought, why not do the same? We mounted the gauge just right here in the dash. So now, I can just adjust the pressure as I need going up and down the road. Close it up and it's out of the way. One thing that was important to me was not only protecting the people coming up behind me in their vehicles, but also protecting my vehicle. So Kara surprised me and bought me some rock blocks. These are rock blocks. Rock blocks are designed to protect the vehicles behind you, but also protect your vehicle. They say the front ones are for you, the rear ones are for them. And it has been so nice to keep all of the grit and grime off the truck. It stays so much cleaner, but also it protects the trailer as we go down the road. Or if we happen to flip up a rock at somebody, hopefully it gets caught in that rather than those cheap mud flaps that come from the factory. So far, we have about 25,000 miles on the truck. Really enjoyed it. We are liking the add-ons that we've done, and I'm sure there's more add-ons to come. One of the best parts for me is that we're able to fit 35-inch tires on this truck stock and it gives it a really aggressive ride and look um, compared to some of the other brands. All right guys, I am here to introduce you to Goldie. It's our 2008 Carriage Damani. We looked everywhere, I'm serious, like years for either a new or used RV. Of course we have a budget and we couldn't find anything within that price range. So somehow we found this unit 15 hours away from us <laughs> in Bullhead, Arizona of all places. Most people opt, opt out on that option of full automotive paint, but I recommend it. Because look at the finish on this trailer. There is no sun rot, no discoloring whatsoever, and you can see my reflection in the paint. This trailer is 14 years old, people. <laughs> Let's get into the nuts and bolts of this trailer a little bit. It has a weight rating of 11,500 pounds. Its dry weight is about 9,500, so it gives us 2,000 pounds of carrying capacity. 
which gives us about a 2,000 to 2,400 pound pin weight on our truck, which is well below our limits for it, which is really nice having a single rear wheel truck. It's 33 feet long and 13 feet 4 inches tall at the satellite dish that the previous owners put at the highest point, which doesn't make any sense to me. It has the more ride hitch or pin right out here in the front. Haven't changed that out because why would you change out more ride? More ride is like BMW. It's one of the best things you can buy, so why would you change it? Love the pin that it came with. For power, because we're only weekenders, we don't need massive solar systems, but we need good power. Not, not every place we go has a plug-in like this. So we have recently installed our Lion Energy lithium batteries. Well, not batteries, battery. We got rid of our two lead acid and are running one Lion Energy lithium. This thing is great. If you want a full review of it, all that, you can check out our channel. Along with all these other products we're mentioning, you can check them out there. One part of RVing can be really dangerous for a marriage, and that's backing up. So, we went with Halo View, and we put in a backup camera. So let's go check that out. This is our Halo View 5111 model backup camera. Comes with a 5 inch 720p screen. It has an antenna on it so we can actually see out the back of our rig as we go down the road. This is a lifesaver and a marriage saver. It has a microphone on it so I can actually hear Carrie yelling at me when I'm in the truck. And luckily she can't hear me yelling at her while I'm in the truck. For a fifth wheel this size, usually you have to compromise on something and that's usually storage. But this trailer has quite a bit. It has this huge pass through, hopefully you can see in there, it's kind of dark storage that we can fit so much stuff. So an eye catching feature on this trailer is our American Racing Wheels. These came stock with the trailer, believe it or not. Hard thing is, is trying to find heavy enough tires to fit. Welcome guys to the inside. So in here we have pretty much a galley kitchen, one-sided, and our big dinette booth. We love this booth. Uh, for one, we can expand the table for two tables or just the one table for the two of us. And there's tons of seating, as you can see. One thing we have done to our upholstery in here is redid it. It was getting sun rot and starting to peel. So we, uh, Opted to get it redone. We went for a two-tone effect. We went with the natural cream that was on it before, and then we went for a dark brown to try and match our cabinetry and trim. A nice thing about this rig is there is a lot of storage. May it be overhead cabinetry, or may it be under the couch. With our kitchen, it may be minimal, but it works great. We have our Kind of a standard fridge here. Holds everything we need. We are not full timers, so this works fabulous for us for weekends and long weekends. We do have a little two burner range. We have our convection microwave, if need be, and more overhead storage. Our sink is actually a really decent size. I can get some big pans in there. But we really don't use our kitchen. We are outside on the grill most of the time. So going upstairs, we have our bathroom and of course the master. We don't have a grand bathroom to show you but it works great for what we need. In our master room, we have a queen size mattress. Uh, we actually had it replaced through a mattress insider. We do have ample amount of storage in here. We have a little three drawer dresser and overhead as well. And our closet, which we can hang so many things. And the floor space, we can pile in there as well. Overall, for a small space, it works great for what we need it for. Big thanks to Big Truck Big RV for letting us do this collaboration with him. If you'd like, jump on over to our channel, Jaunt Junkies, and check out everything we have upcoming. Thanks again, and as we always say, enjoy your weekend.